I have this example message browser application and we'll take a look at maybe writing a unit test for this component here which is the message details component which makes up this whole page. Now some functionality that we'll be testing for will link back to the message listings. We'll be able to unflag and flag the message and then we're going to make sure that when we click this delete that it deletes the message and it's no longer there. Now here's our react component. This is our message detail component. We see here we have our link that links back to the message listings. We have some buttons here. This is our trash button that deletes the message. This lets us toggle the flagged status of the message. And then we display some basic information about the message down here. We can get rid of this temporary test there. And we already have a pretty good idea of what we want to be testing for. Some of the, the functionality, you know, kind of from the user perspective. So we're linking back to the message listing search page. We got to make sure that we are indicating where the message is flagged. And then we want to trigger that toggling of the flag status and the deletion of the message. So if we run these again, what we're going to get is Mocha is going to look at those tests and see that they are incomplete and just mark them as pending, which is really nice to kind of brainstorm what you're going to be testing for beforehand and then dive in and implement them one by one. So now we can import our component that we will be testing. And that is message detail from message details, just adjacent, the adjacent module to us. And we're going to import shallow from enzyme and we're also going to need to make sure that react is within scope and the reason for that is that we'll be using jsx just the same with our tests here uh, another starting point just to make sure everything is set up correctly is it renders without exploding i like to do this in my tests just to make sure that i'm not running into more setup issues before i get into asserting any logic what that might look like is we could expect shallow, and now shallow takes as its argument an element. So we'll create that using JSX here, message detail. And this is going to spit out a wrapper that you can see here. They're spitting out a wrapper, and the wrapper has its own API and it has all of these methods here. They have really good documentation for this. I recommend going and checking out the docs on this. And what we're going to do is just assert that the length is equal to 1. And if that's true, we know everything is fine. Now we'll run our tests here. And we can see that it did explode because we didn't pass any props in. And if we look here, we're actually depending on some of these props being available. So what I like to do is let's define our props here. And it looks like just to get these tests passing, we just need to make sure we have a message. That's an object there. We know that these are functions, so we'll just pass in some, some blank functions there, just so the component doesn't squawk at us. And we'll pass these to our component using the spread operator props. And it looks like is equal is not a function. Okay, I'm getting mixed up here. To equal, I believe, is what we want. And we're passing. And so another pattern I like to follow is I like to promote these up to the top here and rename them to minimum props. That way I can use these throughout all my assertions and kind of have a, a boilerplate to render this component without exploding. And then I can override the props as needed here. If I want to pass in a different message, this will take precedence over what is spread out right here. Okay, so we'll jump into this test right here. It links back to the message listing search page. And what we're going to do is we saw this pattern over here on the enzyme documentation. We'll follow that. So we'll take a const wrapper as shallow my component. So our component is message detail. I'm going to make sure that we give it those minimum props. And now we can make some assertions on that wrapper. So what we're going to do, wrapper has an API that is compared to jQuery. And this find method accepts what they call a selector. So in our case, we're going to use a string. I'm going to find a link. And what that does is it's going to look within the tree of message detail 
it's going to look for a component link. That's case sensitive, and, and that's what we've imported here from React Router. And so once we find link, what we want to do is that's going to return another wrapper. So we can then say, okay, the prop, and how can we know that we're linking back to the search page? Really what we care about is this two. And right now we just want to assert that it is that root slash. So prop two to equal root slash. Now we're passing.